Hey everybody, the Bonga is here yet to give you another Mega Man Let's Play on the Game Boy. Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. In the year 20XX AD, the world as it was is back at peace thanks to Mega Man. Uh, that, they're talking about Dr. Wise's plans fading and people are starting to forget about it. But a few months later... And of course, Mega Man's going out with this new chick, which happens to be his fucking sister! Get a haircut! What's this? So, you are the famous Mega Man! I am Terra, and you will soon be my slave. Yeah, thanks for just walking away there, Roll. Oh, time to get my armor on. Take that! What? What's this? Not working! Come on, work. Oh no! Shit! Mega Buster doesn't work! What? My Mega Buster has no effect on him. A few hours later, the world was attacked by warrior robots. From space. From space! Wow, those buildings can actually stay up there after blowing up so much? Wow, they're pretty strong. Oh yeah, they stole that from Mega Man 4. Where am I? Dr. Light found Mega Man and... equipped him with the new... Mega Arm! The most powerful weapon ever devised for masturbation. I mean, uh, firing at enemies. Why had the Star Droids come? Here. Well, that makes no difference because we gotta kick their ass. Oh, look at all the color, man. It's awesome. Mega Man, our world is once again in chaos. The alien robots call themselves Star Droids and have conquered most of our major cities. They have constructed of alien material which render our weapons useless. But I have done some analysis and constructed a new weapon for you. It will replace your Super Mega Buster. Awesome. It's called the Mega Arm and it allows you to charge energy in your fist before you fire it. I have also created a new assistant for you. His name is Tango. Oh, I'm not a cat person, Dr. Light! Come on! I'll enhance this item replicator to make powerful items for you. Collect as many P-chips as possible and return to my lab to exchange for power-up items. Good luck, Mega Man. Pretty much the same feature as Mega Man 4 on the Game Boy. But now we got completely different enemies to take on. Exclusive to this game. Uh, let's go to Neptune first. He looks like a wily little freak. And some of these enemies here, you would not see on the NES versions. Not at all. And there's also this hidden feature, just like the Mega Man 4 version, that if you failed repeatedly before defeating a Robot Master and use up a lot of continues, Dr. Light would automatically send you to his lab and give you a new power-up, which pretty much maxes out your attack. But I consider it cheap, so we're not going to do it like that. Ah, oh, shit. I hate flying things. Whether they alive or just machine. Ah, oh, finally! That one was taking too much time. I got him from behind. Oh, now let's actually get in that ship. Oh, 
of water leakage. So I better clean that up. It ain't gonna be me. Here are all those cracks there, because those are steam vents, which will actually release water. Or in some cases, steam. Or mostly just water, you know? Either way, it's not important for you to break them. Okay, that one's got steam. And everybody knows steam is not good for Mega Man's armor. Shit. They're caught in the blast. Wait for it, wait for it. No! This is actually the first Mega Man game portable that I actually played and beat. The other one that I actually played on a console was Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. And it was really good, I like that. But I like this one a lot better. Because it's something completely new and original. Even though this is called Mega Man 5 and you would expect Robot Masters for Mega Man 5 and Mega Man 6 in there. But not in this one. Oh, I can't get those. I think I need a new power-up just to be able to do that. That's right, your Mega Arm has upgrades which you can buy. Ones that are going to probably like damage your opponents even more, and some that can allow you to reach for items all the way in the back. Oh man, I need some energy real bad. Uh, am I close enough? Oh yeah, that was good. Come on, that's not energy. I'm filling up weapons that I don't even have yet. Am I near the boss yet? Yep, I am. But if I die here, I'll die on purpose because then I'll face him on full health. But Neptune's not that hard, so let's take him on. But I haven't faced him in a while, so that's why I died. Okay, let's do this again this time on full health. But he basically has only two attacks. One where he causes debris to fall from the ceiling, and one where he throws a big heap of salt water at you. And of course we beat him, and now we're going to get his power up. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, you actually get a demonstration on how it works. I well, pretty much like the way Neptune uses it. You got salt water. Is salt water even good for Mega Man or anything? Anyways, at least they changed it to Light Lab now, thank god. I hate typos in games. Anyways, let's try Mercury now. Yeah, he got spikes on his head. That is so awesome. And so sacrilegious! This one will be a little bit tricky because of the conveyor belts. Plus they change on you, so be very careful. Lag. Uh, that's pretty much the game's lag anyway. Nothing to do with the uh, recorder. Oh, look at all those pea chips. I want them. Let's see how many I got. 
Oh, 48, that's not too bad. But when I get to the next screen, I'm going to show you... Uh, no. Actually, I might as well show you now what Tango can do. Okay, that's all. That's pretty useless, so... Let's get that energy. And we are going to stop right here. I think that's enough progress for now, so stay tuned for part two. This is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye and see you all later.